Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use DLSS4 upscaler in conjunction with FSR 3.1 frame generation in Monster Hunter Wilds. Its second open beta test is live right now. This game supports DLSS frame generation and FSR frame generation. It's FSR 3.0 not 3.1. This means the upscaler is not decoupled from FSR frame generation. So if you want to use FSR frame generation, we are forced to use FSR upscaler. The official FSR frame generation implementation is broken in this game, produces graphical artifacts around our character model. These artifacts are not produced in the case of Nukem 9's FSR 3.1 frame generation. This is very disappointing. These frame generation related artifacts were present even in the game's first open beta test that was conducted almost 3 months ago. Let's hope Capcom will be able to resolve these issues by the time the game is officially released. That happens on 28 February, just 2 weeks away from now. Just like the first open beta test, the second one includes character creation, the story trial and the Doshaguma hunt. After completing the hunt, we will be able to explore the windward plains and encounter various creatures that inhabit its ecosystem. But the second open beta test will not end here like the first one. We will now be able to fight against the bird waven Gypsaurus. We will also be able to take on the game's flagship monster Arkveld in a high difficulty quest. This guide will work on any PC that has an RTX GPU. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll be using Nukem 9's free DLSS G2 FSR3 mod build version 0.121. You can download it for free from Nexus Mods. Click on the link here. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Files here. Just click on Manual Download under Universal. Now click on slow download, download will start. The game comes with an older version of TLSS of Scalar, it's version 3.7. I'll manually update it to the latest version that is 310.2.1. You can download it from Tech Power of's website. Just click on download here. Click on any of these servers, download will start. Out of the box, DLSS auto exposure setting is disabled in this game. This setting helps in reducing the ghosting around some objects in the environment also helps in fixing some coloring issues. So I'll be enabling this setting using Nitex free OptiScaler mod. We'll be using the mods nightly build. You can download it from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. This is the version that I'll be using 0.7.7 preview 7 20250214 build. Click on a dot 7z link here. In order to activate DLSS 4 upscalers transformer model, we need to set the model preset to K. In order to verify the details of DLSS subscalar like its version and model preset, I'll be using DLSS debug overlay. We'll enable it using the registry entry provided by Amos. Just copy these lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, yes. Select right click, open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will enable the debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Like this. Now click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the debug overlay. Right click open. Yes, ok. First I'll show you the base game performance, run the game without any mod. Also highlight the broken official FSR frame generation in this game. In game settings, display mode set to borderless window, full HD resolution, uncap the FPS, vSync disabled, graphics preset set to low, upscaler set to DLSS using its quality preset, no access to frame generation, need to have an RTX 40 or 50 series GPU to access DLSS frame generation. Mesh quality set to medium, rest of the settings set to low, post processing effects, motion blur off, variable rate shading, disable it. That's it. We are in. This is the lobby. You can see the other players online. Oh my god, here FPS is close to 45. This is so disappointing. Thunder and lighting in the background outside of the cave. I have no idea why this game is so heavy on the GPU, hitting the GPU bottleneck here. It's heavy on the CPU as well. But 42 to 50 FPS is so disappointing. I'll just drop everything to the lowest graphics preset. 
graphic settings lowest make sure vrs is disabled off back to the game dropping the graphical preset to the lowest did not help much in improving the performance still we are getting 40 to 50 fps check out the debug overlay in the bottom left corner version of the upscaler is 3.7.10 auto exposure setting is off ok now i enable official fsr frame generation we need to change the upscaler as well in order to access fsr frame generation upscaling set to fsr 3 3.0.3 .3. Now we can access frame generation on upscaler's quality preset. Back to the game. The yeah, FPS increased to around 80. Game's HUD elements are not flickering, but just check out the ghosting produced around our character. When I'm moving the camera, see? So Capcom still has not fixed this issue. Just go out on a hunt. Nukem 9's mod will fix this ghosting around the character model with frame generation on. Such a shame that Capcom could not fix this issue even after 3 months. This issue was present even in the first open beta for the game. Now I'll show you how to install Nukem 9's mod. Before installing the mod just make sure the in-game upscaler is set to DLSS. Open the in-game settings. Set upscaling to DLSS. Select the upscaler's quality level that you want to use. Open Nukem 9's mod archive file that we downloaded earlier. Open dll underscore version folder. Just copy this dll file, dlss g2 fsr 3 amd is better. Open the game's install directory. Select the game in your steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste the dll file here. Now I'll install Nitex OptiScaler mod. Open OptiScaler's archive file. Just copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Paste them in the games install directory. Right here. Replace. Change the name of nvngx.dll file to txgi.dll. Open optiscaler.ini file. I'll be using Nukem Nice mod. So we need to set fg type to Nukem's. Won't be using OptiScaler's FSR frame generation. Click on File, click on Save, Close. Now I'll manually update DLSS Subscaler version. This is the version that the game is shipped with 3.7.10. Open the Upscaler's archive file, copy this DLL file. Need to paste it in the game's install directory. Replace the older version of DLSS Subscaler with the latest version. Replace. Check the version 310.2.1.0. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings, from this drop down bar select Monster Hunter Files, scroll down to the end, enable Basing from here. Nukem 9's mod support NVIDIA Reflex, it gets enabled automatically when we enable DLSS frame generation. Reflex enabled, combined with NVIDIA Control Panel Basing, will cap the game's FPS to a value slightly lower than our display's max refresh rate value. This produces a very smooth looking animation with low latency. On a display with 144Hz refresh rate, FPS will be capped at 138 and on a display with 240Hz refresh rate, the FPS will be capped at 225. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here, enable the following settings, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model, apply the changes. I'll also enable G-Sync indicator, this is optional, click on display here and check this setting, using compatible indicator. If you want to disable it, click on the setting again. Launch the game. In game settings, display mode, borderless window, full HD resolution, VSync off, reflex on, upscaler TLSS using its quality preset, frame generation on, 
we have access to it this means Nukem 9's mod is working I'll run the game using the low graphics preset disable motion blur off variable rate shading off now check out the DLSS debug overlay model preset used is K version of the upscaler 310.2.1 base resolution 720p upscale to full HD auto exposure setting off I'll show you how to enable it open optiscaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key there's the menu current DLSS frame generation status on Nukem Nice mod upscaler can be selected from this drop down bar you can see its version here DLSS you need to enable auto exposure setting from here check this box save INI close now check out the DLSS debug overlay it's on the debug overlay will flicker with frame generation enabled as it's not a part of the game's interface so I'll just disable it now just edit the registry file that we created earlier right click open with notepad replace the number 4 with 0 click on file click on save close run this file yes ok that's it my monitor supports up to 240Hz refresh rate here you can see the FPS is capped at 2 to 5 so the reflex combo with NVIDIA control panel vSync is working we are in the lobby here FPS is within a range of 70 to 80 can observe the added amount of smoothness image quality is looking sharp TLSS 4 upscaler for you thunder and lighting in the background moving the camera around no ghosting is produced around a character now like what we saw in the case of the official FSR frame generation implementation Nukem 9's mod fixed that issue highly recommended to use this mod if you have an RTX GPU I'll just leave the place now start the hunt I'll be honest the game looks garbage on the low graphics preset my GPU can't handle the higher presets even when I was using the lowest graphical preset FPS was within a range of 40 to 50. I'll just enable auto movement for my ride. Lead me to the objective. Games and elements are not flickering. Even the subtitles are not flickering. Latency is present but it's manageable. Reflex is doing a good job of cutting down the additional frame generation related latency. Three creatures here. I'll just dismount. Start spamming my attacks. These things are angry. Seventy to eighty FPS during combat. Time to bail. Call in my ride. You can see the other creatures in the background. The creatures are just staring at me. You can see some sparks here caused by a thunder. I really hope the launch build of this game has better performance than its open beta builds. Because in this open beta build, my PC with an RTX 2070 Super GPU is struggling to achieve 60 FPS without frame generation. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you found it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.